So I love food, I love the intricacies of food, and for me, coffee is a culinary thing. Unfortunately, the majority of the coffee drinking population has almost been duped into drinking the style of coffee that they're drinking. For years and years and years, people got used to this dark, burnt coffee. I just want more people to understand that, um, you know, there is a different side to coffee. Anybody that I've been able to um, give a proper cup of coffee to that was roasted properly, grown properly, and brewed properly, they're blown away and they don't turn back. Keys to a great coffee start with the beans. You've got to buy fresh beans. That is crucial. Ideally, you want to be buying coffee beans that have been roasted within a week. You need a great grinder, and then all you need is hot water and, and maybe a French press, and you're set. You want to grind your coffee coarse. Um, very similar coarseness to, say, a sea salt or sand. With a one liter French press, I will use 35 grams of coffee and 595 or close to 600 milliliters of water. Pour some hot water into it first just to heat it up. Dump your coffee into it. And then pour that 600 milliliters from a decent distance over top of the grounds to create some agitation. The bubbles and the grounds that are puffing up uh, at the top um, and expanding, we call that the bloom. We want you to take a spoon and stir your French press, the water and the coffee together within the first 30 seconds of brewing for approximately five seconds. You are brewing your coffee for four minutes. When your four minutes is up, you plunge the French press and serve. Voila! Beautiful French press coffee at home.